Here's the before, and here's the after. Hi all, and welcome to my garage. On this episode, we're gonna be talking about garage lighting. Now, this is a really important subject because like most of you, you probably just have your standard contracting light that they installed when you built your house or you purchased your house. And you might've installed a few lights here and there. That's kind of what I have done. And I've spent actually a couple hundred dollars on my lights and some of them are still working. Like you see, I think I just have two now. And then there's like three lights that just don't work anymore. They, they stopped working. They only worked for about a year and a half and I have just become really frustrated by it. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to upgrade my shop lighting and I thought for a moment like what would be a really great light to install. I don't want to buy something on Amazon or at the hardware store again where it's just going to fail. And I remembered that I used uh, LED strip lighting from this company called Flexfire LED. They're the same light uh, lights that I used for my master closet. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. I'll put a link right here and also in the description below. So I actually reached out to Flexfire LED and I said, hey, I have a problem trying to solve and I need to put some lighting in my garage so I can see better and also film these YouTube videos. And they were like, let us not just help you out. Let us, let us partner on this and sponsor this video. So first of all, thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate it. And out of that, we started talking and collaborating. And one thing that I just love about Flexfire LED is they have lighting consultants that are for free. You can tell them a problem you're trying to solve like I did, and they come up with a whole solution for you, if, whether you're on a budget or you have no budget at all. And they came up with some really amazing ideas that I didn't even think about. What we're actually gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting in these little L, uh, strip lights in the corner at 90 degree angles. How cool is that? And they're all gonna be independently controlled by my smartphone. I'm just like, I didn't even know you could do this stuff. And what's even better is I told them, hey, you know, a lot of people aren't electricians. They don't know electrical. It's very intimidating. And they're like, no problem. We have basically plug and play uh, adapters and things that you can just hook up very minimal electrical uh, skill and knowledge is even required. And I was like, that's perfect. That's exactly what I need. So first of all, thank you. And guys, if you need to talk to somebody about a lighting situation that you have, reach out to Flexfire LED. I'll put them uh, in the description below, as well as a percent off coupon that you can apply towards your purchase. Just wanna help you guys out because I know lighting can get hard and intimidating sometimes. As you know, I was intimidated by lighting, but not anymore because they made it so simple. Well, let's get started on this project and show you what we're gonna be doing. So like always, let's get started. All right, so this is everything that I have for my lights. Now, over on the left here, we have my channeling. And these are the channeling strips that are gonna go into the top of the drywall and connect the channeling together. We have the power supply in the back and the only connecting that I'm gonna to have to do is I have to use some wire nuts to connect my wiring to the power supply and just plug it in the wall. And then this is my um, electrical wire that goes to my lighting. And then I have solderless connectors right here and then I have little short ones that they included here as well and then there's a connector installation guide that they threw in to kind of show me how everything needs to be wired up as well as my LED lights. Now I'm going to take you step by step on how to install all of this and I'll put together um, these exact lights in the description below so you know exactly what I'm using but again be sure to always uh, you know, reach out to Flexfire LED. If you need your own consulting, they can put a package together like this for you and your specific needs. All right, before we begin, I first wanna put this disclaimer out and say, I am not an electrician. I'm gonna be wiring things up in my garage based on the knowledge and information that I have read online and in books and my own experience. So if you have any questions or concerns about your wiring, it's always good to consult an electrician. So any diagrams that I provide you or things that I share with you, you can take it as is, but don't take it as gospel. Because again, this is just me 
reading things off the internet and putting things together. So just wanna put that disclaimer out, always consult an electrician if you're unsure of doing something. All right, I just want you guys to be safe. All right, well, let's get started and start wiring things up. The first thing I did was create a mount out of some scrap wood so that I could attach my power supply unit to. This is gonna be later installed on the wall. What I'm doing now is securing the mounting bracket or the wood to the wall so I can attach my power supply. Now that we attach the power supply to the wall, we're now gonna wire the plug to the unit. You wanna connect the green and yellow wire together. The white and blue wire will connect together. And the red and black wire together. So the first thing I wanna do is get my channeling set up. Now I'm gonna be creating L-shaped lights and to do that I'm going to need to cut 45 degree angles using my miter saw. I have an accessory pack that has all different types of attachments to connect my channeling and there's ones for creating right angles. You're going to need a hex tool to screw everything in together. This is one of my favorites and I'll put it in the description below if you're interested in getting one if you don't have one for your shop already. The first thing you wanna do is lay a chalk line where you wanna install your lights. Next, you're gonna install your flush mount clips to your ceiling. Once you have all your clips screwed in, you can now attach your channeling. But before you can install your channeling, you need to make sure that your LED strip lights are installed inside of it. You'll need to use the solderless jumper cables to connect the strips of lights. This is really easy to do. You also want to install your light diffuser. Flexfire LED makes several different types. So I'm right in the middle of hanging my channeling to my surface of my ceiling. Now I decided I wanted to do flush mounts. However, I came across an issue that I didn't see or I didn't predict. And that's totally okay because things happen as you're working on projects and it's all about improvising or having different options available to you. Now, the issue that I ran into is that my ceiling is completely uneven. It, 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 there's waves in it. And the clips and the way this attaches really needs a perfectly level uh, surface so that those clips can properly attach to the channeling. Now, I should have looked at that before I decided to do flush mounts, uh, but I didn't, something I overlooked, but that's okay because Flexfire LED has a solution and that is I'm gonna be using pendants. So I'm gonna put some pendants up and hang my channeling a couple inches down from the drywall and it's gonna look sweet. And that's one thing I just wanna note uh, about Flexfire LED is they have solutions for pretty much any problem or project that you're trying to build out. If you want your lights really up against your drywall, I would uh, recommend using their recessed channeling where it actually goes up inside the drywall and it looks amazing. I just didn't want to do that for this project because I'm not a drywaller and that stuff um, I, don't, I don't like doing. But uh, flush mount was something that I thought I could do. I just overlooked that uh, fact that my ceiling is wobbly and uneven, but they have pendants that you can use that solve that problem. Also, if you're wanting to hang your channeling in corners or angles that are very unique, they have angled channeling. And that's one thing that I really like about Flexfire LED is they have solutions for pretty much anything. Well, let me go ahead and take down these clips and hang up the pendants. The first thing you need to do is drill a hole and insert a drywall anchor. This will hold the pendant securely in place.
Next, you want to drill a hole to feed your wire into your attic. Then you're going to connect your wires using some wire nuts. Then use electrical tape to wrap everything together. Then you're going to repeat this process as many times as you need to to install your other lights. Once you've hung all your lights, it's now time to wire everything up. For my setup, I had to split my power into three separate lines. Then I was able to add power to the controllers. Here's an electrical diagram to help you out. If you run into trouble, FlexFire LED has a great technical support resource that's totally free. Feel free to call them and message them. They're wonderful. I know you've been waiting for it, so here is the big reveal. Okay hey guys, so I have finished installing my lights and I am super happy with how they turned out and I love the quality of the coloring of the lights. These are phenomenal. One thing that I want to go over with you is my setup and how I designed everything. So let's go ahead and do that. So in the back corner, I did an L-shaped uh, light bar and in, above my workbench here, I decided to do a U-shape. Originally, I was gonna do a rectangle, but I ran into some fixtures that I just didn't wanna go around, so I decided, why not do a U-shape? And that's one thing that I love about these lights is you can make any shapes that you want. So then I installed another light beam. It's about 14 feet long. It's right above me, and it goes from one end of the garage to the other. And then behind you is another L a uh, bracket or an L bar, L light beam bar, if you wanna say it, and that lights up my other garage bay. Now, these were really fun to do, super easy. You know, if you guys get intimidated by these or have any questions, one thing that I like about FlexFire LED is they not only have just great support, they also have awesome technical support and it's totally free. So if you're setting up the electrical or you need to know how much wattage you need to run for how many lights you're putting on a certain panel or an outlet, they can help tell you all that specific information and help you navigate your electrical wattage and hooking all that stuff up, which is phenomenal, love that. The other thing is, if you're interested in getting lights like the ones I have, I'll put them in the description below, but also FlexFire LED has a whole bunch of other different types of lights that you might be interested. And if you wanna shop with them, I have a coupon code for you that they provided, and it's in the description uh, below. And it's just a little thank you for watching this video and helps you out when you uh, purchase these lights. So with that said, if you have any questions or comments about this project or anything in general that I'm working on, post in the comments below. I'm here to help you guys out. And also, if you wanna keep up to date on what I'm up to and what I'm building next, consider subscribing. All right, guys, till next time, I'll see you later.